they had suddenly appeared in the box. Dan and his girlfriend, Rachel, are taken aback. They tried to talk to the man in the box, but the man just looked at them. In the man's eyes would always follow Ben. Ben called Sean, the friend who gave him the box. Ben wanted to know what the hell it was, but Sean didn't pick up the phone. That's when Rachel found a card. It said, you have to keep looking at the box. But they want to know what would happen if they looked away. So Rachel counted down to three, and then they all looked away at the same time. When they looked at the box again, but found the man with his fingers outstretched as if to climb out of the box, Rachel suggested that Ben keep an eye on the box. But Ben wanted to know what would happen if he didn't. So he got a knife from the kitchen and gave it to Rachel because he had to get help from Sean. This time, Sean finally picks up the phone. Ben told Sean about the situation he and Rachel were in. Suddenly, Sean gets very angry. The reason is that the box won't move if Ben looks at it and not any one person looking at the box. Ben realized that Rachel might be in danger. He rushed home, but Rachel had disappeared. Finally, Ben heard Rachel's voice at the basement door. But while searching, he was frightened away by a frightening shadow. At this time, four more people appear at the door. There were people to his left and in front of him, so much so that Ben couldn't look at them at the same time. So every time he averted his eyes, the thing moved a little bit closer. 